get back to the question that Piers wanted to ask you, which is, what is the biggest mistake you've made? <laughs> <laughs> there are too many to list on this programme. The show is not long enough. What is the moment of your entire career that yeah. you would least like to relive? Mm. Pro I think the chat show. Was it? I think that, oh. that because I was pregnant mm. and I felt so emotionally vulnerable and um, I don't read press. I don't mm. read good press. I don't read bad press. There's no point. It's, it's silly. Mm. But I knew something was going wrong because I was going around the supermarket doing my shopping and people were coming up to me and just hugging me and going, <laughs> it's going to be all right. I still love you. And I was thinking, <laughs> something is going seriously wrong uh. here. So and that's that because was tough. you launched a chat show in your name, but it wasn't well Well, I didn't want it to be received. called Davina. It was called Midweek McCall. It was going to be a lot more irreverent. And then I said, I don't want it to be pink. I wanted to be industrial. And then mm. they put my name in lights. And I wasn't confident because it wasn't quite what I wanted to do. But I learnt, in retrospect, I learnt so much. If I don't want to do something now, I just don't do it. Now, that's I mean, an interesting... As you get older, you You, you have learn. more choice. But I think it's a really good lesson because, you know, you bounced back from that mm. you present I had big brother, I some of lucky. well exactly mm. some of the biggest shows on television lots of people would be knocked for six by that so well, what's I, was, the key? I was I was but I'm quite good at dusting myself off and um, tr I always and it's not it's quite annoying sometimes but I always try and take the positive out of a situation you'd hate that wouldn't you piss <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I, I know, I you know, and I always try and learn something from it so what I learned from that is to if I don't feel right about doing something just say no I don't want to do that mm. I'm always so bad I used to feel embarrassed to say no that's an art I had to learn and that, by the way, that's I thought a, that's people a, wouldn't like me well I think that's a, mm. it's a female thing mm. uh, predominantly in my experience my wife's the same I think, I think a lot of women who especially they're working mums and stuff they tend to say yes to a lot of stuff they don't really want to do mm. and I'm always saying listen don't you don't have to be be the controller of your own destiny well for me it was because I was worried people wouldn't like me mm. and actually I realized that people far from people not liking me they just found me more assertive and sort of took me more seriously mm. so I thought oh, I'm gonna say no a lot this is great what has been the <laughs> we've done the negative which has sated my curiosity good, good. What, what's the moment you would relive that has been the best moment of your career because you've had so many um I would I mean, Big Brother is something that I've been universally known for, mm -hmm. and um, the first few series mm -hmm. were so exciting, and seeing people coming out of that house not expecting anything, as it, as it went later, they were expecting kind of love and adulation, but the first series, for sure, and even the second series, seeing Brian win, mm -hmm. seeing Nadia win, you know, these were kind of, for me, pivotal moments in TV history. I mean, things like I presented the first gay game show mm -hmm. on television. I got banned from Yorkshire TV by Bruce Gingell for, for making a gay really? TV programme. He thought it was so awful. And mm. I was like, yes, I've been banned from somewhere. <laughs> um, so these kind of like milestones I've really enjoyed. I feel proud of that. You work so hard. You do do so many programmes. Mm. You do have your cookbooks, your diets, mm. your, you know, your appearances mm. your, and your fitness. And you are a working mum. And I mm. know this is a question that mums get asked, and I do as well, mm. more than dads do. Unfortunately, you know, because women tend to be the ones mm. in char charge of the childcare. Um, do you feel guilty at any time about trying to fit mm. everything in mm. and spending time mm. with the kids? I mean, what I what I do is I kind of crowbar quite a lot in in the term times, and yes. then I'm absolutely vigilant and safeguard the holidays. So I take two months off in the summer, which is awesome. And um, every school holiday I have off, but it means in between time I'm quite often quite busy. But then some days I'm working two days and I've got three whole days off and it's fantastic. I also think, I mean, I, don't know you, but I just think that kids, you know, my kids have always found it quite exciting, a lot of the stuff that I do. Yeah. Like it's a boring also, job. You know, and to in involve them, and you know, I remember my son's coming out, it'd be Mike Tyson in the studio, oh, wherever it was. Amazing, and it? yeah, but it's, uh, you can, I think if, you, if you're lucky enough to be in our business, actually. Your yeah. kids enjoy but the excitement. Also, the reality of it is it, our kids are going to have to work. Yeah. You know, my daughters are going to have to work, so to have a working mother makes absolute sense. Yeah. And I think that, um, you know, it's important to sort of be a role model to them mm. and show that I'm not going to collapse. And also parity in the marriage. I think equality in the, in the marriage where you're saying the women take on the majority of the childcare, but they I think, you know, do, I Matthew think. works, I work, mm. you know, we're working at kind of sharing cooking and responsibilities and bedtimes and all of this kind of stuff because that's fair. This yeah. has been Equality so disappointing, in this interview. Oh, I'm because, sorry, uh, Piers. I'm no, so sorry. No, you know sorry. why? Because I've sort of ended up quite liking you. And, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. It was really, it's a real, know. you know, they always say you should never meet your anti-heroes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's been lovely to see you. I mean, you are, you, you do, I, I really admire you. I think you've got an amazingly varied career, and I think the way you talk about 
the juggle between personal and professional is mm. it's it's very inspiring to people you know you're you a role thank model you. to people yeah well thank you yeah it's brilliant i like you even more oh susanna thank you time for life stories do you think or not no never Pip. <laughs> and i've told you this so many times i'm not coming on your show to just cry you can a lot come, no come weep no it's not gonna happen. weep with your uncle <laughs> Piers. No. Ugh.